Good morning. It is Tuesday and it feels like a Monday. We had a rain day yesterday. Between Sunday and Monday, it rained anywhere between 6 and 10 inches in our area, which is absolutely crazy. There was a lot of flooding. Obviously, our job was flooded, so we didn't work. But this morning, we're going to go ahead and give it a shot. It's probably still going to be pretty mushy. It's raining out right now, but it's supposed to let up in the next hour or so. So we're going to go ahead and give it a shot. I have a couple shout outs this morning. Uh, the first one goes out to the Pittman family. So um, they sent me some pretty cool stuff. They own Pittman Grading and Land Management and they watch the channel as a family. And I just wanna read the letter that the young man sent me. It says, Dear Ryan, my name is River Pittman. Me and my dad, I'm seven years old. Me and my dad watch your videos. Here are some gifts and we hope you like them. So I appreciate that very, very much. And uh, River sent me a really cool drawing. There it is. I sure do appreciate that stuff. Thank you very much for watching and supporting the channel. And then also I wanna give a shout out to my daughter, Autumn, who left a gift here at my spot, a coffee mug with some gifts. And then she wrote me a long letter on a card which I am not going to read right now because it is only 530 and it is too early to get emotional. So I'll read that later. <laughs> Anyways, I'm going to take this trash out. I will see you guys at the coffee shop. How much garbage do we make? Nice work. Good morning, Dwayne. Good morning, Ryan. How you doing? All right. It appears nobody is running the coffee business. You? I might apply for the position in November. Uh, if you guys think I was kidding about the amount of rain, there it is. Hopefully you can see, see that. Nearly 10 inches of rain causes flooding in the area. Yeah, so that's the freeway. And the entire freeway was closed. They had county plow trucks come and they were trying to push the water out of the low area with snow plows which i thought was interesting and probably didn't work very well but yeah it was bad that was the worst flooding we've had in a long 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 time it is 608 just pulling into the yard and nobody's here i'm the first one here this morning <clears throat> I'm sure I'm gonna get text messages. Are we working? Cause it's been raining a little bit here and there this morning. But by the time concrete gets there, it should be completely cleared out. So the timing should work out pretty good on this, this one. Bogs is here. Morning. Morning. Hi, Jade. Couple of cubes. Thank you. Yep. Yeah, we had between like six and ten inches around here. I see that. I see that. Come, come. Getting calls this morning already. Yeah, Daryl. Mike's here. I didn't even know Mike was working today. I didn't think he was. I guess I was wrong. I told Tino to come in because I didn't think Mike was coming. Francisco's here. This bucket was sitting on the truck over the rainstorm. It completely filled the bucket to the top. That is crazy. Wow. Morning. Morning. Oh man, that's gonna be washed out. Uh, I don't know. I got plastic. We'll just cover the grate up. Pour it. That'll be all right. Yeah. 
Eric's here. Daryl's here. Daryl must have flew in because he didn't even. He's not even late. 626. Morning. Marcel's here. How much fuel's in there? Quarter. Morning, Eric. Are you going to the gas station? Yeah. I knew it. Put some diesel in the truck, make it useful. Daryl's gonna ride with you. Hey, Andrew Ryan from Victory. All right, I have that eight o'clock. Yes. Put it for 18 yards, six bag, low chert air, microfiber, five inch slump, 20 minutes apart. All right, concrete's ordered. That feels good to say that after three days of no concrete. The rain, I think, is pretty much done. It's just moving out right now. The grade is going to be swamped. It is on a bit of a hill, so I think it's going to be okay on the first pour. We'll see about the second pour down by the road. I think it's probably filled up with water, but uh, we'll go there and see. We do have a pump if we need to pump water. It's not a problem. We'll get it done either way. Well, we got on the freeway, and it is bumper to bumper barely moving i think there's an accident up ahead hopefully we don't get delayed for too long looking at my uh phone here solid red well we've been on the freeway now for about 25 minutes and we've barely moved It's Tuesday, but it sure feels like a Monday so far. All right, well, here was our issue right here. Two lanes. That semi said, not today, to that Mini. It's always amazing how people wait to the last second to merge in and then they get mad because people don't let them in. That's it, three cars got together, little fender bender, causing a big delay. It doesn't appear to look too bad. That's good. That's good. The guy's car is in the way. He's going to have to move that. I think we're in good shape. Garbage man! Morning. Morning. I think we're finally going to be able to get it done now. Yeah, we had so much rain, that was oh, crazy. I'm glad we're on a little bit of a hill here. That is definitely helping. We're pouring a lake right here. About, we'll let that dry up for a while. There, you wanna get the plywood? Why do you put plastic down right just so this moisture doesn't try going through the concrete? Oh, it will go through the concrete. Oh, yeah. 100%. Okay. Yeah, the weight of the concrete pushes the water, the moisture that's under right to the top. Yeah, it just bleeds. And you get all the bleed water, inside. and this stuff is muddy. So okay. you'll get muddy bleed water on the surface, and then you're in trouble. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Morning, Tino. Como andamos? Uh, si. Say hi, you doing? Uh, good. Bueno. Okay. Man, your wedding's coming up soon. Yeah. That's kind of cool. Yeah, next week I got, like I said, that, that week off to get everything ready. And yeah. We're on Saturday, showtime. Showtime. Yeah. <laughs> I'm excited. Oh, yeah. 
be cool to see all the planning and all that stuff kind of come together, you know? Yep. For my wedding, I didn't really do much. The only thing I planned is making sure my guys had tuxes. Yeah, that's... And that was pretty, that was pretty much it. Yeah, I just supplied the money. That yeah. <laughs> I got more bones for your dog. Oh, just some smaller ones yeah, right on, people you. people keep sending me bones for her she gets the most gifts out of anybody perfect, all right it's quarter to eight concrete's gonna be here in 15 minutes and francisco and eric are still not here but they got all our tools and stuff we need hey are you almost here yeah we're right here all right her uh -huh. I thought every trip shoot, it was a lot of traffic. I know, dude. We drove through the same traffic jam. So the grade is very firm. It's just really wet. So we're going to cover it up with plastic so all that muddy bleed water doesn't come up through the surface of the concrete. It's okay that it's wet. You just don't want to pour on it if it's mushy, and it's definitely not mushy. Oh, no, dude. Bro, it just rained like six inches and you just drove on the grass. You just tore up the grass, man. Try to turn this one this way. I got my boots at home today. On purpose, bug? No, I cleaned out a chicken coop for a guy Saturday. He's younger than me and he posted on Facebook, I need somebody to clean out a chicken coop. I've known him since high school. Yeah? I said I'll be there Saturday morning. So I went over there Saturday. The manure was that deep. I oh, that. Two years. All right, concrete is here, back there somewhere. And we're pretty much ready to go. What's that? Do the new update. The what update? The new update. For the phone? No. What does it do? Nothing or just spy on you more? Spy. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Go one more after this one. Got him, Marcel? Yeah. Uh, I did my part on this job. My way. <laughs> I struck off 12 inches. Pull some of that out of here. Don't mess this up, though. Yep, yep. That wet screen. Watch this shot. Pow! <laughs> <laughs> All 
All right, second truck's here, good timing. Pretty thick right here, six inches at least. Eric, your hair is like sparkling in the sun today. Look at that. It's reflecting. You're gonna make it dirty. <laughs> Don't get dirty. Yep, go ahead. Cut it on this side of the pin, Daryl. No, cut it over here. Because that's our problem. Start a family and start having kids? Or? There you go. Mm -hmm. Right away? Don't run it up to seven. <laughs> no, I think you want seven. I want a lot of kids. Yeah, yeah. just like I did. The most I can get. <laughs> That's cool. Yeah. Wife. Wife too? No, she doesn't want kids. <laughs> <laughs> no, she, she wants to have like two or three, but... Yeah. Oh, you can... Yeah, double. That's just a warm-up. Exactly. Yeah. All right, that's it, concrete's down. Now uh, once this concrete truck gets out of the way, we're gonna start prepping this area here. Get this coming. Grab the forks, we'll pick this plywood up first. Yep. Woo! Where'd you get, where'd you get these? Schmitz bought them. Schmitz brought them when? The first driver. He did? Yeah. Man. So, they haven't brought us anything for years and years <laughs> and like years. Thank you. <laughs> I know it's just like a dozen pencils, but I put four in something the is something. I put four in the bucket, I'll put it over there. All right. Uh -huh. Is it popping there? A little bit? What? Concrete. You can put a half? No, I only put a quarter in it. Glad we put plastic, that stuff would have been coming up everywhere. Mm -hmm. And it, all that water was muddy too. It would have been like... <laughs> <laughs> That's the worst. Yeah. Especially when you don't expect it, or when you think it's gonna be okay, and all of a sudden there's bleeders all over the place. Thank God you got plastic. Yep. Like you said. Going to bed? We'll try to. Yeah. We won't be too loud today. No. When you wake up, you'll have a new driveway though, so that'll be exciting. I was gonna ask how long you guys are gonna be today. Probably about three, probably about three, three o'clock or so. See how I sleep. We so should be wrapping up. Oh, I'll wake you up. I want my money. <laughs> you like the wall? You like the wall? Yeah, that turned out really well. Yeah. I still got to cut those two pipes and I was, flush, but. When it started downpouring, I think it was Sunday morning, I'm like, crap, why don't you those downspouts? Make sure they're coming out. Oh, they were coming so, out, yeah. yeah they were, it was perfect. They were freaking flying out of there. <laughs> yeah, that something's good. Yeah. You remember what you told me yesterday, the other day? Uh, no, and I don't know why you're standing like that either. I was raising my hand. Yes? Do you remember what you told me the other day? Yeah, about cutting joints. I said, to, I said tomorrow, Yeah. but tomorrow would have been Saturday. We didn't pour on Saturday. No. Sorry. It's a new week, man. Right. Well, what about today? Uh, I would say tomorrow. We're not pouring tomorrow. You're catching on. I said tomorrow we got a new construction, so bring your rubber boots for the mud, because it is going to be yeah, gushy over that's there. That's what this one because I know it was going to be all... You're going to need it. What's wrong with your knee? On the side job? No. Wasn't on my job. No, no. He, uh, he, he told me in the morning he heard it. Well, he heard it just on 
I woke up with my knee swollen. When? Uh, Sunday. Sunday? Yeah, just you don't even know what happened? Were you fighting on the weekend? Because you could have been like this, you could have been like... <laughs> And then your knee woke up swollen and you didn't even know why. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to change this bucket and start grading. Get the rest of the form set up. start cutting joints we're just getting that end set up Bugs is digging out the culvert for some little culvert wings I put a little bit of accelerator in this morning it's pretty cool out and it seems to be doing a pretty good job not terrible, I could have put a little bit more in there, but I'm not going to complain. Your dad just turned 50 and you said he's old. Well, he's getting old. I'm 45. <laughs> when, are you, when is your 50th birthday? Five years. <laughs> Five years. Something. Make a party. Yeah, oh, when I'm 50, yeah. Uh, I have to have some kind of party. We're getting you a, a Mexican group. Oh, wow. Yeah, I brought, I brought, we brought him a group. Always, really? Yeah. He always wanted. It's a, like a quince year old for yeah. a fifty-year-old. Yeah, kind yeah. of, kind of the same thing, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. Because he, he kept asking about it. He was yeah. like, and then the group, dude, the group showed up in the backyard, and he was like, "Oh, we got a party. Right, we got to play right here." And my dad was like, "No, we don't have nothing." And, we, we, and the dude was like, "Well, this is 35, 24. He's like, "Oh, yeah." And he's my dad was all surprised. He's like, he hugged me. He's like, "Dude, I can't believe." He was happy, this. eh? Yeah. Mariachi. Yeah, we got mariachi in the morning and then uh, in the afternoon. Well, it was me, my brother, and my sister. Yeah. And we all pitched in, but. Nice. How much it cost? Four hours was like three grand. Three thousand dollars. Yeah, that's how they do it. Francisco, why don't you jump there? Because we got a lot of finishers here. Thank you for some good jelly. Raspberries are good. Oh, yes. Man, is that oh. slippery. Does your girlfriend smoke? Or your fiance, I mean? 
doesn't. She don't like you smoking, I bet. No, she doesn't. <laughs> I figure. <laughs> you know, you know what would be the best wedding present ever? What's Qu that? Quit smoking. Yeah. <laughs> the best wedding present ever. Marcel, your head is sparkling today. Yeah. yeah. You see that? <laughs> it is. Look at it. Looks like polished aluminum rim. <laughs> If it's high, knock it down. If it's high. Yep, knock that down. You got it. Yep. All the way over there, it's high too. Yeah. All the way to here. We got they're called looking crazy for operator real quick. Operator? For the Junior's not here. Oh yeah, that's true. <laughs> what are we gonna do without Junior? I don't we don't have anybody to run the buggy. Hey Steve, it's Ryan from Victory. Yes, sir. I got a 12 o'clock. 12 yards, same place, same way. Noon, 12 yards, same everything. You got it right. I ordered your side job for Friday at 4, 4.30. Okay. Six trucks? <laughs> <laughs> You're pouring those steps? What? You're gonna pour those steps? Yeah. Oh boy, you're gonna be you're gonna be very nervous pouring those steps. Here you <laughs> How many steps is it? Nine. Ten or nine or ten. You're nervous already? I'll be dreaming, I would be. I'll be dreaming about them. <laughs> You've been dreaming about them? Yeah. I used yeah. to do that too yeah. when I was like my first ten years in business. I get nervous too. I still think about jobs at night if it's if it's complicated. Man, I still, I always do. And yeah. I can't sleep. We got yeah. a big job coming up, then I can't. I still do. I, I just yeah. can't. Yeah. Yep. Because you think about it, because like in the morning you don't want to forget anything. Right. You do the job in your head. Night. Yeah, you do it in your head. Yep. And then you throw over like. <laughs> <laughs> no. I went yesterday because we were off, and my wife was like, "Where are we going to the job site again?" Dude, I gotta just check to, just to look just at to it. Just to look right? at it. She's like, "You looked at this so many times. <laughs> you got it." I'm like, well, "What if it goes south and it, you know?" Oh, if it goes south and you got to hire Victory to fix it, that's gonna be really expensive. If I gotta rip them all out. We got that parking lot coming up too. <laughs> Which parking lot? For that landscaper. All over there on the Yeah. Side. It's like 7,000 square feet. It's a pretty good size. Yeah, it is. I remember seeing that. Yeah. That'll be fun. Yeah, it'll be fun. We're doing the driveway? Oh, no. Parking, parking lot. Parking lot. It's like 7,000 square feet. That's not bad. It's not that big. I mean, it's big. It's not like gigantic. Is that so hard it's big enough. That's tomorrow? No, tomorrow we got new construction in. Uh, where is that? Sussex. What time is March? 12. I'm going to lunch right I'm going to go get something from the gas station right now. I want to go with you. Oh, outside or Sometimes I'm so hot, tired when I get home, I tilt my seat back in my pickup truck and take a, like a 10 minute nap. Sometimes I'm so exhausted when I get home, I just tilt it back and I'm like. I was wondering why my dad always did that. And now I see it and now I feel it. And I, now I, mean, I, feel like yep. I remember when Ryan, when Ryan was young, he was probably like, I'm guessing a little bit, but he was probably 10, 11 ish. He would always ask me when we got, when I would get home from work, dad, can you, we play football, play yeah. catch and stuff. And a lot of times I would just have to tell him, no, man, I'm so tired. I'm yeah. very exhausted. And he never understood. They're but totally then, me. but then I brought him to work mm -hmm. when he was that young and I made him work all oh day. I made him work all day <laughs> okay. and driving home, his head was just bouncing <laughs> off the window all the way home. And I woke him up when we got home when I pulled in the driveway. I said, hey, you want to play catch? He's like, no, dad. Yeah. So I mean, he learned. Oh, yeah. My mom used to, I, same thing with my mom. I'd ask her to do something. She yeah. Like, no, just give me, she always had a half hour rule before yeah. she got home. It's hard, man. I mean, plus I have a lot of kids. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, you can only stretch yourself so far. Yeah. I do what I can. You know, I try to raise them right. And my wife says, have, has always stayed home with the kids. That's cool try to spend as much time your and oldest? Right, uh, Ryan, Ryan. Ryan Jr. yeah probably is hey did you hear that Dodge is basically removing all their muscle car lineup I heard about that. Are they really? yeah they're going all electric on all their muscle cars no way yes have you seen the electric one even a muscle it's car so funny. Funny. I don't know that's wow. so the electric thing. Dumb. you see the one? what happened to the American the one, one the electric I know what the, the electric one 
Dude. I haven't seen it. You gotta see it on YouTube. It sounds so stupid. <laughs> <laughs> sounds like a vacuum. It sounds so funny. Bro. I swear, it sounds so funny. Who wants an electric muscle car? Yeah. Alright, we're just waiting on concrete now. We're all ready. You guys are eating their lunch. Concrete should be on its way. Finish this job up. It's a pretty expensive job with the wall and sidecar parking there. So I'm glad to finish it off today and get paid. Jade, you busy? You busy? Jade has a life, doesn't she? She comes and gets a hangout every day. She just chills. She is famous. She gets gifts off the internet like every day. I got two more bones at the house. Somebody sent her. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, it's like her fourth time she's gotten a gift. Yep. You give them me? Oh, way more. <laughs> I don't even give I don't, <laughs> No, you got a you got a couple. You got that card. You got the oh, magnet. Yeah. yeah, yeah. What's up, people? I got a big headache right now. You got a what? Got a headache. You got a headache. Look at this. Wow. Leaves are falling down. Bugs is right Not yet. there. Soon. Yeah, it's right around the corner. They're starting to turn by my house. There's yeah. this one stretch that always turns early. The sugar maples? Yeah, they're yeah. already starting to turn a little bit. Right, oh, falls on the way, Eric. Yes, sir. We have leaf problems <laughs> soon. Yeah. Pumpkin already we're ready. We're not going to have as much color as we were hoping. This I got from YouTube. Really? This job, yeah. Oh, that's cool. That's just rare. You rarely get a job off of YouTube once in a while, but this is one of them. He knew about us. Actually, we got one coming up that's from YouTube, too. Oh, yeah? Two almost in a row. That's cool. Next year will be on the radio though. That'll be, oh, that'll be huge. Ads? Yes. This I'll, spring I want to do the uh, state fair show. Oh yeah. For myself. Yeah, that one's really good. Yeah. All right, concrete's here. Ready, Daryl? Now Daryl Senior has to run the buggy because Daryl Junior woke up late, wasn't ready to come to work. I'm really disappointed in Junior today. He comes to work once a week and he sleeps in on that one day. That's not good. No. It's irresponsible. I wonder where he learned that. <laughs> it wasn't from me. I'm going to put my boots on because Bugs don't like when his concrete's high on his side. He gets pretty upset pretty quick. Yes, sir. He's out.
see the other gentleman drive by there was one time we did a job and we had the gravel pile on the road you know and this guy just came flying <laughs> brand new car had six thousand miles on it brand new it was like a honda odyssey or minivan yeah, or something he just jumped right up on the pile oh, yeah. yep he jumped right up on the pile and the there was no wheels touching the ground. It was just it sitting on the pile. Itself, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> here, take this. I'm gonna cut the joints. Okay, dude, I'm not. Uh, we should we should I'm back this truck out of here. No, hey, this. get spin the wheels. Mike, help him get this truck out of here without okay, causing more damage, that. and then park it over there on the street. Get it out of here, and then we should fix up that big tire mark that that uh, Franny left this morning. That hurts. So right. Look at that, look at that mark. Oh, yeah, yeah, he did. I think you should, uh, you can uh, strip hey, forms when it's ready. <laughs> Come on. Why do you want to fight me all the time? I want the jointer. No. At least it's nice and sunny. Hope that dirt dries up today on that job tomorrow for tomorrow. At least most of the way. Because it's got a patio and it's just raw dirt back there. Raw dirt. Can yes, I can imagine. And I don't have my track machine. I hope so. It's pretty warm out. Yeah. Alright, I just gotta finish up that last little bit on the bottom center joint. And the guys will hop on here in just a minute. We're pretty much done. Just gotta finish this up, strip these few forms, caution tape the job off. The job went pretty good except for all the rain we had yesterday, which delayed us one day, but really wasn't that big of a deal. Right now on my schedule. I'm real close to being sold out for the year. I might have room for a couple more jobs, but that's about it. I have signed since I mentioned that I've had, since I mentioned that I'm having trouble uh, getting people to sign, I have had several people sign, which is good. So just about sold out. And we might be going to Atlanta mid November for a job, taking uh, probably a few of the guys, at least a couple guys with me. If anybody has a job that they just need poured or if they can arrange for us to have equipment out there somewhere warm uh, the third week of November I'll probably have an, an opening uh, obviously financially it has to make sense for me I at least have to make uh, a few bucks I don't have to make a ton of money that's not really the point but if I can keep my guys busy and you know just basically break even I'd be okay with that go ahead and shoot me an email look at that sealer I don't want to look at it. Right look now. at it. We got to strip this whole patio. It's a big one, dude. Look you remember that. that job, right? Oh, I remember that. I remember that. Oh, we scrubbing oh. that day. Remember when I was scrubbing over here? Yes. I, I was scrubbing that. with yeah, you. Yeah, I know. I remember that. And look at all the, the guy texted me. He said, This looks terrible. We need to fix it. But I got to text him back and say, I agree. Yeah. I mean, we got to yes. fix it. Yeah, I'm going to set up a day like October 5th or something. We're going to do all this kind of stuff, fixing stuff. I got a couple jobs that cracked. We got to reseal. I got one that one that chipped. I got one corner that cracked. We got to cut the corner off and put like two wheelbarrows of concrete in the corner. New wheel, new concrete. Are we doing that? You got to take care of that stuff, man, or people will wreck your reputation and then you're done. Um, so we're doing it with the bags then? No. I got to see how big it is. I think it's like three by three. I don't know. Yeah. Man, that yeah. Yeah. So. yeah, so I just got a text message with some pictures of a job that we sealed. I sent one of my guys over there to seal it and they tiger striped it really bad. I don't know if you guys can see that. But there's tiger stripes all over the place. It does. It looks terrible. The guy texted and said this looks terrible. So we need to fix that. Always yeah, it's a little advice. Uh, never run from any issues like that. I know it's easier just to not call or not, not text back and just move on to the next job and move on to the next job and keep making that money. It's tempting, but you got to take care of issues like that. You have to, or you will destroy your reputation and not have a business. Uh, not too long from when you start that. So 
I'm going to set up a day. I have uh, like three or four things like that, you know, that's just not right on jobs. I have a, a couple cracks we got to take care of, a little piece of concrete we need to remove and replace, and that sealer there that you see. Uh, I'm going to set up a day. Actually, I'm going to set up probably two days because I have a couple that we need to pressure wash and seal and just take care of it, not do new jobs. Um, that happens when you're in business. So you are always gonna have issues like that, always. You, you, you can't do work like this and be perfect all the time. It just doesn't happen. Things go wrong at times. As long as you communicate with the customers and take care of the issues, you're gonna maintain your good reputation and uh, continue to grow. So we're gonna set that up in about three weeks. Al used to hate the cameras. Really? Yeah. Al hated everything though. Did he? I mean, I liked Al. He was a good worker. Yeah. But there's just, man, there's just, it gets to be too much. Yeah. Day after day and man, uh, 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 I'm like, all right, that's enough. Yeah. I can see once in a while, yeah, this stinks Wait. or that stinks, but constantly is like too much. Contagious. Yeah, it is contagious too. Daryl's been working pretty hard today, honestly. Oh, yeah. I don't know what. He's sweating again. It's like the second time he sweated today. Oh. Never mind. Oh, Look it. I was just saying you were working hard today, and then he just <laughs> rolled on the ground. I did. I was taking the I know. Hey, Daryl, remember when we had that job and it had the uh, septic tank? Do you remember that? It was a patio, it had a septic tank. Oh, yeah. And then I made you go down there and clean it out with a bucket. I know. I'm serious. Uh -huh. I got pictures somewhere, I promise, from years ago. Yep. I had to go down he went down there, he had one of those white painter suit on. <laughs> he did, and then he's down there and he's taking buckets of sludge out of the septic oh. tank. It was gross. It was, it was terrible. Yeah, and awesome, then we filled it in or something, didn't we? I don't, I don't remember, did we? Gravel? sludge out we got, had to get it clean first yeah. that was nasty i made you do it because i didn't want nothing to do with it <laughs> we got another job with a septic tank really yep i don't know i didn't sign it yet but i'm pretty sure they're gonna sign oh it was right next to the job we just finished yeah remember the job we finished last week the neighbor wanted a big we're just finishing up the driveway on the bottom the guys are down there so I'll just show you the job real quick if you weren't here for the whole project if you were just here with us today so this is the retaining wall that we put in we poured a footing for it and I like to do that if if you want to see us do that it's on the previous video uh, but that is just so much faster laying your first course we we pour the concrete and lay the blocks right on the semi-wet concrete you can level the first course and be done in a matter of I think it was about 35 minutes 40 minutes we finished the whole first course and it just made it so much easier plus this wall is never going to move there's rebar in the footing so we put a pad up here so he could park a trailer we poured this last week 
and uh, today's Tuesday yesterday we had a rain day and then today you saw we poured the rest of the driveway for them guys are just finishing the last square down there brooming it turned out real nice I know this guy's gonna be real happy very nice customer and uh, yeah so we're out of here tomorrow we're gonna start a new project uh, has all kinds of stuff driveway patio sidewalk city approach so we'll be busy this week all right I'll see you guys in the next one adios all right well I don't want to do this but I feel bad he works at night and I'm waking him up but I really don't want to wait for my check sorry to wake you up man I didn't even hear the doorbell no I know I, I know barking. yeah thank you very much I appreciate the work oh. so everything went splendid went real nice you like it? Yeah, it looks great. Yeah. So you can start filling in the edges like next weekend. Okay. Walk on it 24 hours from now. Drive on it seven days from today. Okay. So, all right. Well, thanks again. Right, thank I really you. appreciate the work. Yep. Hope you guys enjoy it for many, many years. Better be. Oh, nice couple. I always feel good to put in a good, solid job. I'm confident. I feel good about it. I know it's going to last them a long time. They're not going to have any issues with it. It always feels good. It's one of the most uh, rewarding parts of the job. So, looks good. It is, uh, it's 2.20 right now. And I have a meeting at five o'clock for radio advertisement for next spring and a brand new website. So, that's not real exciting to me, but it needs to be done. It's just one of those things you gotta you got to make it happen because it'll be important later. All right, guys. Adios. 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 I'll see you in the morning. See you in the morning.